heading to Orlando right about now. I'm at the airport, as you can see, and I'm going to be waiting. Sorry, I'm just I'm all over the place with this camera. I'm going to be waiting for three hours because my family got me concerned that, you know, with the government shutdown, uh, it's going to be a really long time to get through security with the TSA, so I need to get here really early. So normally for a domestic flight, I get to the airport two hours early, one and a half, two hours early, or before my flight. International flights, I get three hours early, but this time I was like, you know what? Because my family let me know I should be concerned about TSA, I'm gonna get here home three hours early. Do y'all know that I've got through security in record-breaking time? I got the security in five minutes. So now I'm just sitting here at the airport for three hours. To make matters worse, for the first time ever, I do not have a seat on my flight. So I checked in, got my boarding pass, and under seat it says, at gate. What in the, I'm just like, what? So when I get in, I go to the gate and I'm like, so there ain't no seat on my boarding pass. And they tell me, oh, I'm gonna get my seat an hour before the flight. Why don't I have a seat? I paid the cost of the ticket. So why don't I have a seat? I hope this is a special way of them telling me I got bumped up to first class or something. Cause I know I'm getting on that plane today. I don't have time for this. Welcome to the vlog. Hey people. So it's the next day, if you can't tell. I am currently in Florida in Cape Canaveral. I think it's Cape Canaveral. It could be Port Canaveral, but you know, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm here because I'm about to get on a carnival cruise and head to the Bahamas for my mother's 70th birthday. Um, as y'all know, or if you've seen um, the last cruise I was on. I don't like cruises. I hate them. I don't like the feeling of being trapped on a boat and not being able to get off and just explore. You know, I don't like that. I'm a city girl. But my family loves these daggone cruises. So, of course, I couldn't say no. When they were like, come on, let's go. Let's celebrate our mother's birthday. We can all be in one place. This, that, and the third. So I'm like, okay, fine. The only reprieve I have for this trip is that it's just a three-day cruise. So I'm like, yes, just three days, because the first cruise I went on was seven days, and that was brutal. So, yeah, we're currently in a hotel because we arrived a day earlier, um, just to make sure that there weren't any flight issues. Seems like we left New York, like, in a great time, because apparently a snowstorm is about to come. I don't know how that's going to fare when we have to leave and get back home, but you know. We got out in time. Uh, so, just finished eating breakfast and have a couple hours to wait until we have to catch a shuttle to the cruise. That's it for this update. Somehow everyone ended up in me and my mother's room. I have no idea how this happened. So I'm getting stuck on the rings that I'm wearing. So yeah, not bad. Nice space. Very peachy in here, you know. Maybe it will look like I have a peachy glow right now. No, I think right now I just have a yellow glow. But um, yeah, everything looks decent. What I found weird though 
is that they don't give you your key like to board the ship instead they leave your key outside your door for like anybody to take and that's really weird but you know what no one took my key i'm in my room everything's all good <clears throat> I plan on doing absolutely nothing on this cruise. Tomorrow is going to be our day on the Bahamas. This is a really short cruise, just three days. So I plan on going to a beach tomorrow. I'm going to try not to gamble while I'm here. I purposefully didn't bring any cash so that I do not gamble. Because when you're bored, right, you be just trying to find things to do that will entertain you. So one of those things could have been gambling. And I don't be gotten it. I don't have it like that. Just to be like giving my money away. Because I don't have the best of luck when it comes to gambling. So um, I'm going to try not to spend a majority of my time in this room. But if it happens, it happens. I'll be back if anything interesting happens today. I doubt it. But you never know. You never know. <clears throat> miserable I'll never condone going on a cruise <laughs> don't do it don't do it y'all want to see what I had for breakfast y'all can still see it because the majority of it is still on my plate but you know let me make it a little bit more appealing for you to see <laughs> so this is the cold french toast that they were um, serving that's the cold waffles they were serving. That's the cold bacon they were serving. I did eat a majority of the um, vat eggs that they had. So that's what I had for breakfast. Don't come on a cruise. And we are officially docked in um, the Bahamas. We have no set plans for today, um, other than you're not know, trying to explore a little bit of this place, get off of this boat, and you know, use our legs. Not our sea legs, just our regular legs. We ain't got no sea legs. Uh, and I'll see you on the island. <laughs> bad the water was really beautiful um the best part of the experience on the beach was that my sister rented a volleyball for her daughter so we me and her and my other niece played volleyball we were doing so bad but people still wanted to join in so there was about eventually it turned into like eight of us just trying to play a game of volleyball in about the 50 to 75 times we got that ball over the net, I say about only two of the times was an actual game played in which we kept the ball in the air for more than one hit. That's basically what I mean. And it turned out to be really fun. <clears throat> I got a little bruising from the game. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Yeah. Special. I don't be playing games out here. If we're going to play volleyball and people are going to join in, especially if there's guys involved, because I ain't no punk. I'm not trying to look cute in front of no guys. Maybe that's why I'm single. Anyway, I wasn't trying to look cute. I was going hard. I done face planted in the sand once. I fell two more times after that trying to get that damn ball. I was impressive. I'll say that. A couple of guys was like, very good, very good. I'm like, I know. So for the rest of the day, you know, came back to the... My room, obviously, I'm in here, and took my shower, 
think maybe I'm going to put some effort into my outfit tonight. I'm going to dress up. And I have to look at, you know, the boat's itinerary to see if anything interesting is going on. If there are any clubs on this boat, I have to stay away from the casino. And those are my plans right now. Hello, people. Um, excuse me in the state that I'm in right now because I had a challenge, a 2019 shots challenge with my sister-in-law and I know that I'm a little bit inebriated right now. I had three shots of Patron <clears throat> in addition to um, some tequila, a club soda with tequila. Um, so, but she won. She won the shots challenge because I know my limits. Three shots is enough for me. But anyway, I'm just coming in to show you my outfit for it this evening. Let me show you the image. Um, so, this is my ensemble for the evening. It's from ASOS. It's a jumpsuit. I originally got it for my company's holiday party. But, I mean, tonight's the captain's dinner, apparently. So, booyah. i wearing it for the captain's dinner. And it's loverly. I love it. I love the wide leg. I love the off the shoulder to show off my deglet. My deglet. Um, what's the name of it? Deglet. This part. This part. Yeah. I will say I am now noticing bruising on my left arm now from the um, volleyball game. Sports are dangerous, people. They're very dangerous. Don't do sports. Look at how beautiful my family is with their heels. Just out here looking fabulous. Look at my mother. Look at my mother. That's why right. you better pose, Ma. Look, my, listen, my mother's even wearing heels. Look at that heel. Look at that heel. You better work it, Ma. You better work it. That's right. <laughs> Um, drink because there's nothing else to do on this damn boat <laughs> all there is to do is drink we I was forced to go and um watch my niece play bingo 
because Austin wanted us to spend $20. I did not spend the $20. He didn't flirt good enough. So, I'm just drinking. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have another drink before the day is over. Um, and those are my early plans for today. I got sick of the music that they were playing, so I have my headphones on. And I have my phone and I'm listening to the music that I want to listen to. I cannot wait to get off this boat. Hey people, it is 30 minutes before we have to get off of this ship. I didn't do much vlogging yesterday because there really wasn't much to vlog, to be honest with you. Um, I also did, you know what, I did vlog yesterday and I was in a ranting mode because I was really in my feelings about being on another cruise and being on this cruise. And it wasn't the most, you know, um, it wasn't the best way for me to put why I don't enjoy cruises. So while I'm here waiting on my family to get their stuff together, even though we got to leave in less than 30 minutes, I might as well like come in, give you a little breakdown as to why I don't like cruises and why or and who I think would like cruises. So the, the appeal of traveling to me is getting out and exploring the destination I'm going to and getting to spend as much time as possible in that, that destination, at that destination, um, going to uh, different tourist attractions, um, off the beaten path tourist attractions, um, maybe trying some new foods by going to a new market or something like that. And, you know, having a few days to get to that because trying to get to it in one day or in a few hours is just not possible. That is not what going on cruises is about. On cruises, you're just spending a whole bunch of money to rent a room and to use the amenities and go to the you know bars and stuff that are on the ship and when you get to the actual destination you're only spending a few hours there so there's no way you can get a feel for the area the destination that you're at there's just no way <laughs> so um yeah you're just spending most of the time on this ship and maybe depending on how many days you're on it after the first day, you've pretty much probably been around and seen everything. So then the rest of the days, you just like, for me anyway, I'm just like, so what else is there to do? Um, by the second day on this particular cruise, I just decided to participate in the shots challenge with my sister-in-law. Because there was nothing else for us to do. And you saw how we got... There was nothing else for us to do. And that's just not what a vacation is about for me. Now, since I explained a little bit why I just don't enjoy cruises, I think these are the types of people that maybe would enjoy cruises. I don't know if these are the type of people, but this is who I think would enjoy cruises. Um, people that have... A lot of children in their family and you want to try to keep your children all in one place or you have you're able to have um, daycare that's offered on cruises cruises may be a great you know option for you um, people that aren't able to really get around that much you, you know you really can't walk for that long um, you need to be able to have access to chairs or couches at all times cruises are the place for you if you're over 65 and you're not about that life of really exploring destinations, you just want to chill, just chillax, have drinks, you know, see the ocean. Cruises might be for you. And just so you know, a little heads up, cruises, so you're not only just spending money for room and board. So yes, and that costs a lot of money. You're spending money for room and board. But when you get on the cruise, it's everybody on this staff's job to try to get you to spend more money. And you have to spend money on everything. You can't even participate in a bingo game. 
without spending money. Why can't I just play bingo? So yeah, you're just gonna be spending a whole lot of money on cruises. So I'm really hoping this is the last cruise that I go on for a very long time. I know that, you know, a lot, a, a, f a couple people in my family really enjoy cruises and therefore they're always trying to get the family to go on a cruise because they enjoy it and I will have to respectfully decline the next time because I just get no enjoyment out of this, none whatsoever. And I don't like spending my money on alcohol just to try to get a little bit of joy out of the experience. I just don't want to do it. Really don't want to do it. So I don't know if this particular vlog is entertaining or good. I'm still going to put it out there because, um, you know, this is a real travel experience for me um, and not everybody has fun on cruises and I don't see the point in like being fake about it and you know <laughs> trying to make it all seem very appealing and you know I'm having a great time and all this stuff and blah 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 like that's not what my vlogs are about my vlogs are about just sharing my travel experiences and then hopefully inspiring you to travel I'm not going to inspire you to travel via a cruise I know that but you know just to get out and see the world anyway I have to leave in a few minutes and um i'll see you in the next video which will probably be next month we'll definitely yep yeah, probably be next month I'll be going back to europe and i'm looking very forward to that i might be visiting a new country in europe that i've never been to before so that's really exciting okay i had to cut out because <laughs> we were getting off of that daggone boat i have no idea where i left off i think i was just signing off saying goodbye to y'all and let y'all know that i'll see y'all next month hope everybody is um enjoying your winter and if you live in an area where it's warm all year round don't tell me about it bye